Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Hydra ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. I will link to that in the description of the video. But very excited to show off this ROM as it is very cool. Um, it's a basically a tablet and a phone hybrid ROM, so it kind of gives you your phone the feel of a tablet, but so it maximizes screen space. So it's not for everyone, but it's definitely something very cool, um, very awesome to try out. Uh, I haven't ran into any bugs at all um, whatsoever if you are running the latest AOKP ROM since that is what this ROM is based off of and you've ran into any bugs you might want to post it for people but I haven't ran any through the testing I've done MMS worked I got a GPS lock so I haven't had any issues at all with this ROM so um, but I mean, obviously you might run into some uh, some bugs every once in a while. But here it is, as you can see, obviously right away you guys are probably noticing how different this is. Um, you'll see that no notification bar up at the top, everything is down at the bottom. You do have some uh, on-screen buttons as well over here in the corner that are very small. You'll notice everything is very condensed and smaller in this ROM. Um, but let's go ahead and check this out down at the bottom here. So as you can see right here, we've got uh, basically our on-screen buttons along with um, our time and our signal bars, our battery icon. So we can tap down there and you'll see it pops up just like on a tablet. It uh, pops on up like so. It gives you the time, gives you more information and such. You got some toggles, you got uh, brightness, you've got Wi Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, rotate. You have swipe pad as well. Um, you can tap the settings button right here and it brings up more. You can toggle not, uh, toggle the toggles along with notifications. You can turn those off or go straight into settings. So we go straight into settings here and you will see right away that uh, obviously this is a bit of a different settings menu of course. It, uh, it's a, more of a tablet style. So we can go ahead and go to about phone and when we go to about phone you'll see all the settings stay on the left side but we do have basically what it says on the right side. So we zoom in here, you will see that uh, our build number is the Hydra ROM right here, mod version AOKP Hydra tablet mod. So it is based off of AOKP, it is Android 4.0.4, .4. obviously very cool there um, that uh, you basically get dual screen mode and many different things. So um, you can check those out. I mean, obviously you got all your stock ice cream sandwich settings and such. You go to your battery, obviously you got your battery. Um, everything is all there and it kind of stays on one side or the other. So very awesome. You'll notice that the density is very small. What I do recommend doing is setting the font size to huge. So go to display, you'll see font size, set it to huge. It'll make things better, a lot better. As you can see already, things are getting better with the uh, small, uh, small, the size of the font and such. It's much easier to read when you set them to huge. And it really doesn't sacrifice that much space um, you don't have to, of course. This is just kind of something that I do recommend. Also, uh, what you can do is actually you'll get four launcher options, SBR launcher. So we can go to that. Uh, when we go to it, it's more like uh, an iOS kind of launcher. As you can see, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, you also have launcher. That force closes on me. You have my home, which is like a my UI imitation launcher here, which really maximizes your screen space, and it does not have an app drawer. So as you can see, your screen looks very big. Um, with this like this. You also have uh, Nova Launcher. So it's a stock ice cream sandwich launcher with some uh, tweaks and such. What I do recommend doing is going into the Nova settings, which is the launcher settings actually, and then set the desktop settings width and height to none. So I have to kind of figure out how to get to that. So we go to um, width and height. So we have to find out where width and height is. I know I probably should have been prepared for this, but I am not positive how to get to width and height. So I'm going to go ahead and run through and look at these and I'll be back. All right, silly me right at the uh, the first one under desktop, it's width and height is right there. So sorry about that guys. Some of you guys are probably like, no, where are you going? Um, but yeah, they're right there. So we can go to height. What you want to set it to is none and width. You're going to want to set it to none as well. And then what that's going to do is basically maximize your screen space. You'll see everything got pushed to the outside. It allows things to hop to the outside there. Um, you also have many other settings as I kind of scroll through. You got desktop drawer dock behavior. So definitely want to check that out. You also have an app drawer button up here as well. As you can see my app drawer here, everything is very smooth, uh, running very smooth going through. Um, got your app drawer. 
You've got your widgets. Uh, if we want to add a widget to the uh, home screen, let's drop the bookmarks widget down to the home screen. You got a lot of screen space, of course, to work with. So um, you'll see they're scrollable. You should be able to resize it as well. Um, just tap resize, and you can. So you can resize it as well. So there you have it. Uh, you got a little clock there. You can't really see it. It blends in with the background, but it, it is there. So um, yeah, that's those are some tips. Also, if in the Play Store an application does not want to install, uh, what you can do is go into Settings and go into ROM Control. And under ROM Control, what you can do is go to, I believe it's uh, General UI and set your LCD density. You're going to want to change your LCD density to, I believe it's 240. Change it to 240 and then reboot. Once your phone reboots, go ahead and install whatever apps you want and then set it back to 128 and then you will be uh, good to go with all your apps and such. So if any of them it recognize it and see your phone as a tablet, that's what you need to do as well. So those are some uh, basic tips. As you can see, you do have all your AOKP tip, um tips as well, and basically all your settings. Uh, disable your boot animation, allow 180 degree rotation, you can have horizontal recent apps. Down here as you can see, you do have the vertical recent running apps, uh, so you can kind of exit out of those as they go. Uh, however you want to, so you can exit out of those using that little button down there. Uh, you should be able to press and hold the home button, I believe. I guess not, so uh, you can't press and hold the home button to get to those. You have to press that button that is right there. You also have, you can have the CRT screen off animation, which will get, bring me to the lock screen if I let it sit for a little bit. So let's go ahead and check out that lock screen. Looks like more of a My UI kind of lock screen. You can go to camera, uh, phone messaging, or unlock, so actually very cool lock screen uh, there. Um, you also have CRT screen off animation as I said, um, navigation bar which would be down here. Um, you can ch customize your buttons right here so um, obviously you can have a long press action as well so if you want to have some kind of shortcuts there. Change the navigation bar color so if you don't like it to be white if you want it to be let's say I wanted it to be some kind of blue like a dark blue. So let's go ahead and set it to that. Set it to dark blue, and you'll see down there they changed to dark blue. You can't really see them, so you might want to obviously customize those to obviously fit your needs because I can't even see those buttons really anymore. It must be too dark. Um, of course, so you got lock screen settings as well. You can uh, lock screen style. Um, you can go ahead and change those, I do believe. So let's go ahead and see. I tapped on Honeycomb. I'm not sure if it'll change. It doesn't look like it'll change. My guess is you have to uninstall that My UI launcher to get rid of that, to get to your other lock screens to mess with if you want the stock, AOSP, etc., um, Quad Octo. So if you want a different lock screen, my guess is you have to uninstall that My UI launcher. Um, you have power menu options, which would be down here, I do believe. So, Oh, no, sorry. Power menu is when you press and hold the home button. So press and hold the home button, you get these power menu options. You can show torch, navigation bar as well. Um, general settings up in the status bar. So you've got general status bar settings. Uh, toggles, you can customize your toggles. Um, enabled toggles. So if you want to add some more toggles, let's say you wanted to add airplane mode, vibrate, silent, and sync, and I tap down here, you'll see all of them got added down here at the bottom, which is great. So obviously you can have all these custom things running um, down here. You can tap uh, down here just to bring it up and put it back down. So there you have it there. You can uh, change the order of the toggles as well. You have different toggle styles. So you have text only or you can have icons. So if you like the icons as opposed to the text, you have that as a, an option as well. Change your clock, clock style, uh, battery options. Let's see what kind of styles you have. Icon only. You can have text. You'll see it changes down to a text down there. You also have icon with text. You also have icon with center text. As you can see, it's a horizontal battery icon and circle mount. Um, you can also hide it because you have a battery bar that you can uh, show. Signal, you have performance tweaks. My guess is you can't mess with those. You have to allow it super user permissions, of course. Be careful when messing with any of these. Looks like you can't overclock, of course. So uh, obviously with any of these kind of tweaks, be careful with all of them. You have startup tweaks as well, of course. Uh, mess with those at your own risk. But this is very cool. I do really like this, especially... Uh, with it just being so much different and kind of makes everything really fast. It makes it a lot faster not having to go between screen to screen. You have them all up here. If I want to go to security, mess with something, I can go back to another thing. Um, speaking of security, let's go ahead and see if there is face unlock. There is. So, oops, I clicked on slide on accident. So, there is face unlock, um, as you guys saw there in that settings. Um, if you do like face unlock, you do have that option, of course. So, wow, this is actually very cool. Let's go ahead and go to swipe pad. You'll see that swipe pad is here. 
Uh, basically what swipe pad is is where you can go somewhere on a screen and then uh, have a shortcut to an app. So if I swipe from here in the orange, you'll see I have a bunch of different slots for applications. Uh, what that'll do is uh, I'll set that up. So um, since it's running and I go home, all I have to do is swipe from this corner here and you'll see it pops up right away. So I can customize them, of course. So if I swipe from somewhere over here, there it is. And I go to slot one, I can customize what I want it to be, whether I want it to be an application and stuff. As you can see, it's loading up the applications for it. So if I wanted to test it out, I can. I can pick uh, obviously any of these. So if I wanted messaging to be one of the shortcuts, I can just go to that shortcut uh, swipe pad, obviously, and then you'll see messaging is right there. So I can go to it, it loads it on up, so I can go ahead and send a message. As you can see, the keyboard is kind of large. You'll see it's pretty tall there, which is obviously no big deal. We can go ahead and text Google 466453 and say hey to them. So let's go ahead and send it to Google. The uh, send button's right here. It's, you can't see it, but it is there. So let's go ahead and send Google a text, and you'll see actually a very cool notification system that it does have Whether you, when your phone's on. You, you'll, you'll see. As you can see, it pops up right down there. You'll see it there. You can tap on it. When it pops up, it'll take you straight to the message. Or if I uh, wanted to send another message, I can and when, let it go away actually this time. So if they respond back, I can let it go away, and you'll see that uh, it'll pop up in the notification drawer. So you don't have to tap on it right away, but you can if you'd like to. So you'll see that you can tap on it it'll go straight to it which is just like of course a tablet if you've had one so we can tap down here and you'll see it right here you can swipe away notifications of course if I wanted to swipe away that message I can it's not there anymore I can clear message clear my notifications and there you have it so let's go to our app drawer you have a bunch of different uh, apps custom applications obviously you have Google Drive Android weather uh, different launchers ice cream sandwich sense uh, weather widget you do have you'll see that uh, also that the app drawer is very large, uh, obviously has more apps in it. It comes with Dolphin Browser, which I do like. Of course, uh, Quick Boot, PixArt, let's see, anything else? Uh, Swipe Pad, of course, which I just showed you. You have Themes, you have uh, Zip Signer as well, and of course you've got your uh, widgets um, as well. So there you have it there. That's uh, pretty much all I wanted to go over. Um, it's, it's actually really cool. Um, I'm surprised that uh, how nice it looks. It does have visual voicemail as well in case you were wondering about that. But um, I mean it looks really nice. If you can deal with the smaller text, it's definitely a ROM you're going to want to check out. Um, it's very smooth, very snappy, no bugs as I said that I've ran into of course. So definitely a ROM you're going to want to try out. Uh, you're going to want to let me know what you think of it as well. Uh, just be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the ROM. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.